Today I have a wonderful project I'm going to share with you for the upcoming holiday May Day. This beautiful little tussy mussy or cone is filled with these beautiful pink little roses embellished with a fan and ready to hang on your friends and neighbors doorknob on May Day. So to get started with this project you need a 6 inch by 6 inch square piece of paper that you're going to fold into your cone. And I just kind of roll it a little bit. You don't want to crease. I'm just getting a nice little roll two corners in. I'm going to hold my piece of paper like this and then I'm going to run a bead of hot glue along the other edge and then I'm going to roll this that piece over and press down. There I have my cone. Now for the flowers I used the Sizzix die called Flowers 3D to cut out one of these. Now you don't have to have the Sizzix cut the die, all that. You can just cut spirals of paper out. You can do it with the little, the little bumps, or you can have a smooth flower. Go back to my video from early or late last year where I rolled paper roses. Same thing. So now I'm going to take, I believe this is a sewing tool, like a turning tool. It's just tweezers that stay shut. They're pretty tight. I'm going to clamp down on the end of this flower and then I'm just going to roll and just keep rolling all the way around. Now when you get to the end of this there's a little circle tab at the end that's where you're going to want to put your glue. So now I'm going to let go and let it open up a little bit and remove my tool. I'm going to set it down on my hot glue mat Add some hot glue to that tab and then just push the flower down right on that tab to dry. Now you can make these all different sizes. See it's kind of still opening on me. In here I've got some bigger ones, smaller ones. It just depends on how tight you leave the flower rolled up when you glue it down. So now when that dries I'm going to take my tonic pokey tool and just go right into the center and create a hole. Whoop. Then I'm going to take a piece of wire and run it up through that hole up to the center of the flower. Then I'll take little pliers and just curl the end of the wire just a little bit just to create the flower center and then pull it back down. Now to keep your flower from slipping up and down the stem, put a little hot glue at the bottom there, on the bottom side I should say. Okay, now while that dries, I'm going to use some black shredded paper to fill my, my cone up. You can get that anywhere, Party Supply, Walmart, um, and add the ribbon to the back. I'm just going to make a little loop and a little glue like that. Glue the other side down. This is all pretty simple and quick to do. So you could do some for your whole neighborhood. Now for the embellishment in the center, I took a 12 inch by one and a half inch strip of paper and I scored it at every quarter inch and then folded it up. I'm going to add some glue to one, one end and bring around the opposite end and glue those together. Now I have a tiny little circle here. It doesn't have to be a matching paper. It can be anything because it's you're not going to see it. I just happened to use the matching paper and punched a little circle out. Put some glue on that. Pick 
it up. Oops, and glue it down on your mat. No, there we go. Just slap it down in the center. And I use a very hot glue gun, so it takes a little while for things to dry. So I just need to hold that for a second while that glue sets so it doesn't pop back up. Now in the center, I used a little star punch, and I used the same music sheet paper to punch just a little star. You could do anything in the middle of your embellishment. You could make a little May Day sign or just whatever you want and glue that, that down just like that. That's ready to go. Now my flowers dry. So for the leaves, I use the Sizzix leaves die to cut out leaves, but again, you can freehand cut these, just whatever. Just get a leaf with a stem. Now I'm gonna fold my stem in to the, just like that. I'm gonna add some glossy accents to the stem and then wrap that around the flower and hold it till it's dry. So for a close up, there's your little tab holding your leaf on to your stem. Just like that. I've got six flowers done and my stems are a little long so I'm going to use my wire cutters and just cut some of that off. Now you can glue these in or you can just place them in. I guess if you're going to hang them on the door, if it's at all windy, you'd probably want them glued in so they wouldn't blow out. I'll just stick mine in right now for video purposes. But just kind of different heights, front and back. And get the last two. That one there. I try to put the smaller ones more towards the front. This one needs to turn that way. And then I'm going to use some hot glue on that back little circle and just place that right in the center of your cone. And just like that, got another one done. I hope you enjoyed it and go make some Mayday baskets. Thanks for watching.